how could I be happy when you know you see the world in the state it's in? If you really knew that law of love your neighbor like yourself, right? Nobody loves their neighbor right now. Yeah. So I'm not that happy. This is gonna be a hard interview. Yeah. Okay. Kanye's post. So, so. Find God. This is this is this is the weekly recap. Damn, welcome guys. I, I was blessed today to be put into the space, this very artistic space of digital Nas. Thank you for having me. 10 minutes ago, Jelani pulled up and gave mm-hmm. Nas a pair of the Easy Pods. Best sole, most comfy shoes award goes to. Easy they pod. fit you perfectly. I think the purpose of these shoes was the comfortability and this hit it on the mark. These are definitely 11 out of 10. Also, how convenient they are and how they roll up. They're the best shoe to travel with. They take up no space in your suitcase. I told them these were the future, and I said these were going to be the best-selling shoes of all time. But because of how nonchalant it made the subject, it gave it, like, snobby, rich vibes. I'm walking around in socks. I don't give a fuck. But little did you know I had a sole on the bottom, and and that's why I love these shoes, because it, it gives off of a nonchalant attitude, and that's kind of, like, the best attitude to have. It's not flashy, it's not showing off. You're not in this clunky Balenciaga sneaker. I think this is shoe of the year. It's gotta be. Yeah. People are about to get their shipments soon. People are finally getting their um, shipment orders. So you guys stay tuned for that. You see who got it first though, so. How do you feel about it now? Yeah. Okay, good. We have a few things we need to address. It's not about anything else but saving my brother, yay. What do you mean by saving yay? I want to save Ye, dude. You don't think he's in a good space? No, I don't think he's in a good place. Really? Not space. I don't think he's in a good place as far as right now. You already know what he said, so. He said a lot. Yeah, so I want to save my brother Ye. uh, What part are you worried about? The the way people view him. So you're worried about public perception? I'm more so worried about people seeing him as something that he's not. They're viewing him wrong. Haven't they been viewing him wrong though since the Taylor Swift incident? Nah, I think I think um I think some of his some of his outlashes, um, you know, I feel like they're misunderstood. He's highly misunderstood. Yeah. He's them. always been controversial since George Bush don't care about black people. He, George Bush clearly didn't care so about black people. So that's the yeah. truth. So yeah. what? who cares if the people don't understand it? He's sacrificing himself to speak the truth. Exactly. So does yeah. it matter if the people understand? I think it does. Okay, why? Yeah. Because I feel like the whole purpose of him speaking the truth is for them to get it. So I think I'm just going to perpetuate that. So yeah, I'd love you to expand on that. I'm here to tell you this is like one of... He's one of the most amazing people I've ever met in my entire life. He literally follows the law, love your neighbor like you love yourself. And I've witnessed it. And he's not no rap cap ass nigga. Like he's really living his, what he preaches. What do you think bothers the public so much about him? Is it just his unfiltered opinions and because he's willing to be the only celebrity speaking the truth in an industry full of vultures? <laughs> I feel like people are insecure and they want these things that some of us just don't want. Some of us just like making music and clothes and doing what we love. And I think a lot of people get into this business with the wrong reasons yeah. and intention. And it kind of takes away from the real artist. And I think Ye is just simply a true artist. And you're just okay. saying a true artist just live in their true self. It's almost like the industry has become so manufactured yeah. that people don't understand what an artist is anymore. Yeah, no. An artist is a person who doesn't care about anything else but probably making their art. How is he in a bad place then if he is sacrificing himself for the art? We've seen this with many artists since the beginning of time. I think people can't handle the truth. Right. And the truth is, bro, we're all one. We're all humans at the end of the day. Why is no one getting that? I think no one is getting that because everyone has so much pride in what they are. But what are they? Nothing. Exactly. Yeah. You're nothing. You're literally nothing. But you're everything at the same time. You guys have to understand. 
it's something that I understand. And if you understood what I understood, you would understand. Well, you this. know a lot more than we do. You know, I, the leaks, obviously, you heard the leaks. I produced River. Um, Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Didn't you work on Beg Forgiveness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did the baseline. God yeah. gave us Nas for a reason. People take advantage of the real Nas. So what? God give them y'all. You feel like the industry is taking advantage for of For sure. Yeah, definitely. How do they look at young artists that come to LA and are pursuing Not Ye, music? by the way. Right. Ye is the only one, only one who did it. So that's why you want to give Ye his flowers too. Yeah, because he's the first nigga who really put bread in my pockets, who really made me rich. And Ray Daniels. It was Ray Daniels. He made me rich first. And then it was Ye. They're what? the only two niggas who made me rich. So you're ride or die. Yeah, for them. Yeah. Ye and Ray Daniels. If anybody speak bad about them, it's up. So what do you want to say to the general public to help change the perception of Ye? I don't think I don't think y'all understand that Ye is one of the most giving people I've I've, I've ever met in my entire life. And, it's ridiculous. And he like, gives himself to the public too with his art. He gives it all he got. He gives it all he got like a G. You think humanity's in a shitty place right now? We don't realize that we are each other. Too much ego. Yeah, I think. Maybe God designed you to be that really cool ass dude so you can inspire others to be really cool ass people. And I think the people who look the coolest should stop being so like, I'm the coolest and maybe be more embracing because then maybe you will inspire others to be themselves. I 100% agree. Yeah. I was scrolling some fashion page today and I thought, I'm never going to be part of that because I'm just not cool enough. See, it's too yeah, gatekeepy. Yeah, it's, it's like it's a club that I'm not invited to. I don't like that. It's just I'm the guy who's like going to stick up for the weirdo kids that get bullied. So that's kind of like why I'm holding this interview this way because I'm the holding it stern because I'm kind of trying to give off the metaphor of like I'm here for you and I'm not laughing. So how do you feel like you're fighting for good in this world? Besides dressing a tennis ball. I feel weird talking about the things I've done. So what bad things do you do? I have a bad lusting problem. Lusting problem. So out of all the seven deadly sins, which one do you identify Lust. with? Lust. Really? Yeah. Mine's wrath. Oh, wow. Uh. I don't really get that angry, but I get pretty horny. We were talking earlier about chakras and your sacral chakra is the chakra that rules your creativity, but also sex. So a lot of times there's artists that will go celibate just so that their creativity can thrive. So the more sex that you're having, it can actually deplete your creativity. Yeah. Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, I went celibate a lot. I'm on. Two weeks. I was celibate for 23 days and I've recently broken. <laughs> it's hard, but I feel like you just have to figure out where your values are. And I value my family more than lust. So that's why I, I was able to conquer that demon. So you don't feel like lust controls you anymore? Not anymore, no. It definitely used to. How did it got you, me in a lot of trouble. How did you overcome it? I had to realize that my mom and my brother and my family matter more. But Christ is my iOS that I operate off. Do you think there's going to be any Sunday services coming of soon? Of course. We're talking about yay, bro. We're talking about the dude who built a billion dollar company and did everything they said he couldn't do. We're talking about the dude. We're talking about the dude who did everything they say he couldn't do. Yes, there's going to be Sunday services. What was your favorite um, era to work on with him? Do you have one? Donda, for sure. Donda was the first time meeting yay, obviously. I met yay and he moved me to L.A. Where were you before? Atlanta. Okay. And I've been, he put me in a hotel for nine months and then he put me in a penthouse condo for like almost a year. How'd you guys collide? Moa Lola. That's why I'm wearing this unreleased Moa mm. in the interview. Oh, and awesome. Easy Pods and Circus. And now it's what, three or four years later? Almost four, yeah. And you're still working on stuff with Ye? I'm forever indebted to Ye. It's not like a year thing. But Ye's given so many people their star and they're so quick to turn their backs on him. Because that's what they wanted to do in the first place. They were never your friend to begin no. with. <laughs> they just wanted to cross you. 
That's why I've lasted the longest. I'm the only one who's been there. I think I'm the only one who's lasted three albums with Ye. Outside of his childhood friends. But these shoes is what's going to save his life. You think so? Yeah. I mean, these are the shoes of the Just future. Just look at them. Have you been seeing that all these celebrities are buying yeah. bunkers? Huh? Have you seen that? Like Rick Ross is buying a bunker. They're Nigga, all bro, buying bunkers. The, the dude, they, that's not going to save them. God's people are, are, so, are safe. And if you're not God's people, you're dying. Well, I was thinking the easiest no, 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 no. could save you're, them. No, if you're, if you're with God, you're good. If you're not, you're dying. You told me that you meditate for seven hours a day. I do. I don't believe that for one second. Not a day. Okay. Not a day. But on my good days, at least, I try to get at least six, seven hours of meditation. Are you sure you're not just sleeping and taking a nap? No, I'm up. Well, a lot of people say they're meditating, but they're just napping. I'm not. I'm, I hate to say it. I, I'm astral projecting. Your soul leaves your body. What are you seeing? Like, where are you I floating? Go, I go see who's talking about me. Holy shit. So, not, so you guys better not talk shit on this podcast because he might, he's going to see it. It's not, it's, it's mostly <laughs> people I'm really like trying to see. Not, not nobody in here. It's, like, no it's more so like people who I'm like calling my. Like closest friends, I just want to see if they're really that. Yeah, you're wavy. I'm more like in the wind. Yeah, you can go fly off by yourself. Yeah. I'm just going to sit here. I'm more like stars aligning. Or someone that lays on the grass and looks at the sky and like thinks about shit. I'm more, I'm more like someone who can see the future. So what do you see? A what, bright future. What's come? It's bright? Nice. Super bright. Hmm. It's bright like you. And me. Your full self is really special, and I want them to see that. They're not ready for that. The world is not ready for the real me. Really? It's too pure. Do you think Ye gives himself, though? Ye you see what's happening to him, right? Oh, so you're worried that if you gave the real, yeah. you might be threatened with the 5152? No, I think I might be threatened with people stealing from me, trying to come around and make money off me and drain me dry. And So the more truthful you are, people kind of leech around? The more... Open you. I'm on camera right now about to go talk to millions of people. I'm not giving them myself right now. So do you want to protect, like keep your cards close and like protect your energy? Yes, because at the end of the day, when people who watch this interview, the people whose minds were supposed to be sparked will be sparked. You can't change everybody. No, what I don't do want to change everybody. One third of the earth is evil. That's a pro probably right. No, that's the exact number where did you get that number one from? third of the angels got casted out of heaven right what well, do you think that means one third in a metaphorical way what does that mean not literally in a metaphorical way what does that mean one two three four five six seven yeah okay so two of us in here are pure evil probably me that's the number i know it's not randy it's not it's Stenso. Definitely, it's not Randy. I think it could be Devin, me, De you. Oh, you got it on the spot. It's no, Devin. No, I think it could I be me. It. It's Devin and her. No, it's me. I, I already know. It's Devin and you. Okay, oh, she sweet. brought me a hairbrush. She's not pure evil. I literally went out of my way to bring you a hairbrush. No, you guys are the two pure evil people in here, for it's, sure. But it's okay, because I don't judge. Devin, what do you think Mary true? Magdalene was? Devin gave me a great vibe. Obviously, she's a witch. How do you define a witch? A witch is someone who knows how to bend reality. Let's talk about that. This is this part. It means how, it means make things in desirable outcomes. All things, whatever mm. they want, will go their way. Mm. How do they? Do you think it was like crystals? No. So what is it like? It's with oh. intention, energy, ele and the elements, and understanding the elements, and also understanding the way the stars align. What does she have? Tarot cards or something? The, the number one rule in witchcraft is never admit you're a witch. <laughs> You might be a warlock. I'm way more than a warlock. Don't give me that little. So do you guys think that there's witches around? The like witches the, run the fucking music industry. Don't you feel like God helps you bend reality more than the witchcraft yes, ever could? Because good sure. is so much more powerful than yeah. evil. Because with witchcraft, it's more manipulative. And it's more like for my gain. With God, it's more like for the better, greater cause. Exactly. So and that's, that's what we're here to do today. It, that's way more powerful. Right. That's why I'm here to tell you, like, there's nothing... I, I'm not being an egotistical maniac when I say there's a lot for me to learn. I'm, I'm literally being honest with you. I think I've dabbled with a lot of things mm -hmm. in my life. And I think I'm at the point where I, I, I need to take a step back because I think I went too deep. Oh, wow. I know too much. 
Imagine knowing why someone said something and knowing why they did something and knowing the reason why they responded that way and knowing the why they shrugged their shoulder that way and knowing why they shook your hand that way and knowing that though. And having to keep it to yourself. Yes. Yikes. Yeah. Well, so it sounds like you're pretty good at keeping secrets. I have to. Because if people knew what I know, they would not want to be around me. Yeah. What? I know how to go in someone. And they don't even know I'm in them. Like, I'm like in them, filling them out, filling what they like, filling them out, like in them. And then I go out. Please don't go in me. It's for my protection, though. I feel like you want to you want to you have discernment. Yes. Exactly. You're just describing discernment. Yeah. It's like it's deep. a quality God gives us yes. to be able to understand yes. who you mess with. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's why they're like, why? My mom's like every every one of the witchy girls I bring home. She's like, again, again. <laughs> but she doesn't know the reason why I'm bringing them close to me is so I can show them that's not the way. I had a lust demon. I'm not scared to come out here and admit it. No way perfect. I'm not judging you. I'm just I don't care if you did. I just I'm just telling you now at the point I'm at in life, I would never go back. I would ne I would trade all that for everything I know now. I haven't even been having sets. I've been getting that sacral energy so I can finish my album tampering with sound. So you definitely relate to that. Then. Oh yeah, you can't fuck. The whole point of Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson not fucking before a fucking boxing match was so they could keep the energy. That's it. Yeah, that's not for no reason. So a lot of artists out there listening should remember this. Yeah, the sacral energy is in your nuts. Everybody knows that. And if you don't, your creative energy is in your nuts. The sacral chakra rules creativity Every time you jacking off watching porn, nigga, you, you blowing it. You being lame. Your sacral energy is in your nuts. And every time you jack off and you ejaculate that energy out, you're getting drained. Do you think that Ye should still be running for president? How come he gave up those ambitions? I don't know if he gave them up. I just think it's not time. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's just, I, I, I don't think it's time yet. But he's going to be president. I feel like he has it in him. Maybe 2028. I feel like he has it in him to be president. What do you think a Ye presidency would look like? Be Rock star shit, Besides man. the office dressing way better. Man, he'll change. Ye has the power to change the whole world. I mean, it's deeper than the pods. The pods is the shoe of the year. We already know that. He did that in January. Shoe of the year. Shoe of the future. You know, shoe of the year, future, shoot the timeless shoe that everyone would be wearing. It. It's given prehistoric and future at the same time. Because the past, present, and future is happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we all see time differently. Well, because time doesn't exist. And, and um, in fact, you can even look through a telescope and see stars from a different time period. Nothing's real. Yeah. It's written. Once it's prophesized he, and yeah. written, everything. And it's it's hard to be like, wow, how is it prophesized and written? And what would let us know that? The Bible. What chapter do you encourage everybody to read right now? I think now? people should start reading, I hate to say it, but Revelation. I knew you were going to say Revelation. It's like the most dramatic chapter. I hate to break it to you. We in Revelations. The reason why the Bible is the one is because that's the one that stuck. Past, present, future, what stuck. Hmm. Yeah. Yay, Drake, Michael Jackson. I mean, people have always thought the end of the world was coming. Every single generation has said we're in revelations. What makes you feel like we're so special that it's going to be us? What makes what makes me feel like we're it's, it's so special? My parents thought they were going to get, like, it was going to end in the 70s. Wrong. Did it end? It's all perspective. Remember I told you it was metaphorical. It's a metaphorical book. Who wrote it? Let's just say they were holders of secrets. Ooh. I think you could steer people away from the Satanism if you kind of showcase how cool the Bible actually is. It's the coolest. It's the it's the Bible is the the Bible is what everybody bites off of. Right. The Bible is like what Ye is to the whole industry. Mm -hmm. Like just bite, just steal swag. Like every movie came from the Bible. Mm -hmm. Just another story from the Bible. They just made a movie about it. Right. Every Star Wars is the Bible stories. Like superhero, Jesus Christ. It's everything is inspired low key from the Bible. It's like the sto it's like the book people can go to and say, I want to make up a, a fucking treatment. Let me go read the Bible. And they'll come up with a fucking whole movie off one chapter of the Bible. People are always like, oh, I can't read the Bible. It's so boring. They don't even realize they are watching the Bible when they watch these movies. Right. 
So it's just like, with me, I think it's simply about just continuing to do that. It's just, I'm inspiring people through art. My whole goal is to teach people empathy and compassion. And I feel like that is what will fix the world. I feel like empathy and compassion is what will literally fix the world. How are you going to teach people that? Because right now we're at a time where people really are lacking empathy. Yeah, I think the best way to teach them that is to transmute all energy. Is literally just live it. If you want to, if you want to see a change in the world, be it. And all I can do is be it. This is not no cap. It's not no rap cap. I'm not out here just talking. I'm really living everything I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's why I can say with the delivery of how I can deliver. That's how I can expressively say it the way I expressively say it because it's the truth. Well, how do you define empathy? Empathy is when it's like you see a nigga, you see somebody hungry, feed them. Too many people just turn a blind eye these days. Yeah, it's just it's just. We're insensitive. Totally. You see, I think you see a numb. lady in the store looking for something. She can't pick. Go pick it up for her, bro. Like right. it's a, you see the, this person struggling, help them. Mm -hmm. Don't wait for them to ask. That's not empathy. Empathy is I know here, bro. Don't even don't even say thank you. Like I know you need some money, bro. Why do you think we've become so desensitized? Um, because we've become selfish. We were never designed to be selfish. We were designed to be selfless. So as soon as we became selfish was when sin came into the world. Mm -hmm. So when sin came into the world, we became selfish because we we had to provide for families, all type of shit. Mm -hmm. Like we had to hunt. It wasn't just sweet. Ah, hi, how you doing? It was, uh, I got to go feed my family. I got to cross this guy. We're almost too comfortable now. Like yeah. we're not having to go hunt to feed our family. We can just walk to 7-Eleven and grab a hot dog. Yeah, I just said that. I it's said, too I said, easy. I said, you know, the difference between me and most motherfuckers, most men, or say they men, is that I said, ancient men, I live off ancient times because what is is what is. Ancient men had no time to be depressed because they were too busy hunting. That's it. So what the fuck changed now? Oh, niggas are bitches now. That's what changed. Well, you know, there's like a book of mental illnesses and like whole bitches now. Every so now year they come out with new mental illness that we're just creating and they're man-made illnesses. They're all man-made. Everything on earth is a human construct. Everything on earth was only seen and observed by a human. And that's all we know it as. You know, like every day there's a new disorder coming out in this book. People writing it that just don't understand the human condition. So every, if they don't understand your personality, that must be a disorder. They disorder everything. If you're unique, you're a new disorder. So just be you because you're a new disorder. Just be, you are a new disorder. You're a unique, ver you're a unique version. I'm looking you in the eye. Whoever's watching this, you're a disorder. So you might as well just be yourself. Just be you. Y'all right. on yay side. I need more interviews with people on yay side. I don't want to go do an interview with Complex so they can flip what I say and then make me look bad and now yay calling my phone. Nice. We got each other. We don't need them bitch ass niggas. Fuck Complex. Fuck Rolling Loud. F not Rolling no, Loud. Rolly fuck Loft. Rolling Stone. Um, fuck all the blogs. We don't need y'all. TMZ. Fuck TMZ. We don't need y'all. We don't need y'all. Harvey, go to bed. Fuck y'all. Y'all complex don't mean shit. Fuck complex. I don't give a fuck. They've been talking bad about me. Fuck Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone's the absolute worst. Yeah, they've been talking bad about me, trying to make put me in a negative light for being associated with, yeah, you should see the interview they What'd put they out say? about me. They try to make it look like I was hanging with Marilyn Manson and yeah, and I was just this bad person. But I don't give a fuck. Yes, I'm hanging with Marilyn Manson. And yes, I'm hanging with yeah. I don't right. give a fuck what anyone thinks of me mm -hmm. at all because I know what God thinks of me and right. I know he thinks highly. Another thing is too, it's like a lot of men don't know how to carry themselves either, you know, because every 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 situation doesn't need violence. And I'm not trying to be here promoting violence either. And I want y'all to know that every situation doesn't need violence. And I'm still learning that. Every situation doesn't need violence. In fact, I want every one of y'all young people to know, rise above it. Every time you feel like doing something violent, rise above it and do something higher. Like forgive them. If you're if you're dealing with your ops or somebody and they killed your brother and you want to go kill them. Just forgive them. God will bless you even more. Because if you go kill him, then it's just two people dead. Rise above all violence. I don't want to be on the show promoting violence. That's why I said sometimes it's hard to be the real you. Sometimes you have to be the version of what you see yourself becoming so they can be inspired by that. Because mm -hmm. sometimes if somebody's watching what you do, you know, you might do the wrong thing. Right. We're imperfect humans. Yeah. So it's kind of, I'm on camera, you know, you might get that version off camera, but on camera, I really am. Being a superhero to these kids. But you also don't seem like someone that wants people to worship you. You don't seem no, to care about that. No, I don't give a that. fuck. I've been worshipped. 
You don't like the fame element. Bro, I don't give a fuck. I just want to get the truth out and I want my brothers to not kill each other. I want people I love to be successful. I want my mom to do whatever she wants to do, travel wherever she wants to travel. I want my grandma to see the world. I want my friends to live out their dreams. I don't much think about myself that much. Yeah. It's not thoughts about me throughout the day. It's thoughts about, man, I can't wait that my brother uh, sell out his first show this week, uh, this month when we throw it. Was there ever a time where you were more selfish? Hell yeah, for sure. What do you think like switched the flip? What switched the flip is when I seen the faces um, on people when I changed their life. There's no feeling other than that. Because it's the most rewarding. When I see people I love eat, I feel full. Final thoughts you can talk about how you hope to inspire hmm? with your music. Yo, let's get Randy on camera. This is my, this is my- Randy's this is got my, a really chill energy. Come on, come Randy. Come on over, Randy. This is my head engineer, but he's more than an engineer. That's my brother. What's yeah. your role in all this? Uh, Nas's friend and, and, you know, engineer, producer. You so, know? I've been working on this album for five years. Really? Yeah. So your new album is called Tampering With Sound. Yeah, it, the, it, the new name is Tampering With Sound. We're here on a mission. And I think that mission is to, you know, spread that positive word to everybody that, you know, is struggling right now. Yeah. Know, and, and hurting, just yeah. whatever, you know, you're dealing with. And I think like, you know, our, our mission here is just to like, spread that positivity through like, you know, the music and the art and just everything, you know, words, words are very important too, you know? And um, I think this album is definitely gonna touch a lot of that, you know, there's a lot of emotion captured in that. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna be good, like a good thing for everybody right now. Cool. You know, for sure, hundred percent. Thanks, Randy. Of course, of course. Yeah, my music is gonna change the world. That's something I already know, but that's that that doesn't matter. Why not? Because there's other people that can change the world too, and I want to ho hopefully shed light on them. You have abundance mindset. Yeah. You're not like it's only I have. That's to be not the only me, bro. I'm not the only one. No. Right. This <laughs> It's a million kids with talent that really wish they could do this. And I hope that I can shed light on it. Right. I yeah. think a lot of artists are too stuck in like, I gotta be like, it's Bro, all Bro, I do me. not give a fuck about taking second place. I don't give a fuck about 30th place. I don't give a fuck about 100th place. I don't mm -hmm. care about a place. You're more about the human collective. I'm a humanitarian before a musician. And that's why you're going to be an incredible artist. Because the best artists were humanitarians first. Yeah, I'm just more, I, I see shit that's fucked up. And I really want to fix it. And hopefully I can do it through art. I'm actually, I know I can do it through art because I'm so expressive. Are you going to try to do independent or be with a a big label? I talked to Ye about it. Um, actually, I sent Ye the album, the cover art. I was like, look, bro, I've been working on this for five years. I, I kind of don't want to drop it independent and I want to drop it through your new label. I was, if you guys didn't know, Ye has a new mm -hmm. label. So he said, we'll talk about it. So we're, we're figuring it out. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So we can look out for the album coming out in May? May. Okay, well, thank you for sitting down and sharing your truth and being someone that's, you know, on the right path to help move this pendulum the way it needs to move. Bro, it has to. At the end of the day, I know that I am you. So, Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks to all the camera people. And I'm going to go practice some witchcraft with Devin now. <laughs> are the cameras off? <laughs> He's got really good stuff. We're probably going to do a garage sale, for real. We're yeah, not, we're not because kidding. because I need to make some money. You guys, we have to like- <laughs> Serious. His clothes are so good. My real clothes? You don't understand, his closet, it's pretty insane. Yeah. Yeah, we need to hold the garage sale for real.